Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is my very first YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to my channel. Anyways, let's get started. So I start off by priming my face with the Nivea Shave Balm. And then I go ahead and apply the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in number 7 all around my face. Um, I realized it was a little bit too light for my skin tone, so I went ahead and used the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in 111, mainly focusing it around my forehead and on my nose. I went ahead and blended out my foundation with a damp beauty blender. This is actually my favorite way to put on my foundation. I'm not much of a brush person maybe because I haven't found the right one for me but for now we're gonna go ahead and just blend all of that foundation with the beauty blender until um, it's even. Make sure to mix the darker shade with the light one and make sure to blend it down on your eyelids on your ears and um on your neck so you don't have that harsh line of the foundation Next, I go in with the Naked Skin Weightless Concealer in Light Neutral. I apply this under my eyes in an upside down triangular shape. Um, I really like a very, very dramatic bright under eye, so I tend to stay with the Naked Skin. I also like how the NARS Creamy concealer in custard looks as well as the MAC Pro Longwear concealer. Those are my all-time three favorite concealers. Um, I also go ahead and place this on one side of my face first and then I go ahead and do the other side just so that I can blend it out good and don't have that much creasing going on. Don't forget to also put some on your chin, the bridge of your nose, and on your forehead um, so it doesn't look so weird with your under eyes being much brighter than your entire face. You want to even it out and so it balances out and doesn't look so crazy. So at this point, my concealer is really, really bright and my face looks really, really pale, but it, don't worry about it. We'll fix it all later. Next, we're going to move on to baking our face, which for me is one of the most important steps in while doing your makeup. Um, I go ahead and use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and with the same beauty blender, I apply it underneath my eyes and on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, um, a little bit on my chin. And I leave it sitting there for about 5 to 10 minutes while I do my eye makeup. Now let's move on to the eyes. I start off by using the Tartlet palette. Um, I go in with an e, a Morphe E27 and use Force of Nature and I basically use that as my transition shade. I blend it all on my crease, make sure it's really good and blended. Then I go in with a Morphe E17 brush and the color Dreamer and I go on in on my crease as well but I deepen the color it's a little bit darker of a brown um, I use it more to give it more depth to the eye and make sure that you blend these colors if you just go in with the dark color first it's gonna be very hard to get it blended so that's why I start off with force of nature and I move my way up to dreamer just to make sure everything is blended, I go in once again with the E27 and Force of Nature and just blend it a little bit more. You just want, you can never blend too much, let me just tell you that. <laughs> once you're done blending, we are going to go in with the star of the show, which is ColourPop in the color Cheap Date. I go ahead and apply it first with my finger on my lid 
then after that I go in with the Morphe M421 and I clean it up a little bit more so I define the crease more and pack on more color so it's nice and bright once I'm done um, I go in again with the E17 and I use the color dreamer and multitasker and I put this on the outer corner of my eye just to deepen my eyes more give it a little bit more of a definition and that way the gold kind of pops out a little bit more Then I go in with the G22 by Morphe and basically just brush off all the excess powder that's been sitting underneath my eyes and kind of blend it all out. Make sure it's all off of your face. Moving on to contour, I use the NARS Eda brush and the Benefit Hula bronzer to contour my face. Um, I really love using the Benefit Hula bronzer because it's not such a warm tone bronzer where it's going to make my face look orange. I tend to stay away from those. I like more gray toned ones which look more natural to me at least so I go I go ahead and put that on the hollows of my cheek and on my forehead because I want to make it look a lot smaller so by applying bronzer on your forehead it's actually going to make your forehead look much smaller than it actually is and of course we have to contour the nose using that same Benefit Hula Bronzer and the NARS Eda. I go ahead and contour my nose. I do this basically every day. For blush, I go ahead and use the MAC Cubic Blush. Um, this is a very mauve pink. I really like it for an everyday use. Then I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera, but I do use the Anastasia Dip Brow in medium brown and the clear gel. So for eyeliner, I go in with the Inglot Gel Liner in number 77 with a Morphe E38 brush. This is my favorite way to apply the um, gel liner. The easiest way I could tell you is make sure you have the Duraline by Inglot. These drops are a must when using gel liner. It makes it go on super easy and smooth and it's not that hard once you get used to it. So moving on to lower lash line, I go in with that same Tartlet palette in the color Multitasker and Bombshell with a Morphe E17 brush and just blend that out. I like a very smoky eye look so I tend to put a lot of eyeshadow underneath my lash line. So for highlight, I go in with the Color Pop in Electric Slide. I use this mainly as my base for my powder highlight. If you don't like a very bright highlight, you can just go ahead and use this on its own. I mean, it's pretty bright, um, but I like to have it with a little bit more of a pop. So I go in, of course, with Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics and Jacqueline Hill with a Morphe m310 brush and i just blend this out on the high parts of my cheeks and on my nose to give it that nice bright glowing look so 
so for lashes I go in with the Tarte mascara in lights camera lashes I lightly coat my lashes just so that they're nice and dark because later on we will be putting on lashes I like to coat my lashes and let them completely dry before I apply my falsies So moving on to the lips, I go in with the Kylie Lip Kit in the shade Candy K. Um, this is my favorite uh, shade of all of her colors that she came up with. I of course love them all, but if I had to choose one, I would definitely pick Candy K. It's my go-to daily color. I also go ahead and overline my lips to make them look a bit bigger. So if just a little tip if you are going to be overlining your lips make sure you're only overlining the center part of your lips so the cupid's bow and also in the bottom on the only on the middle because if you overline your entire lip you're going to be ending up with clown lips so just make sure you only overline the center part of your lips and then follow the natural lip line of your own that way it gives you that volume that you need without it looking so fake and more of a natural look so once you're done filling in your lips with the lip pencil then i go ahead and use the liquid lipstick i really like me to make sure i use the pencil first because it gives these these lipsticks are a bit drying i mean they're not that bad i've had worse but they are a bit drying so Making sure that you use the lip pencil before on your entire lips just gives it a little bit more of a moisture. That way when you do apply the liquid lipstick, it won't be so drying and it won't chip off. So going back to the eyes, for my lashes, I use the House of Lashes in Iconic. These lashes are very dramatic but very wearable at the same time. I love using these lashes. They're so comfortable, very nice and thick and long, but at the same time, they don't bother me like other pair of lashes have in times before. Then I go back with the Tarte Mascara and Lights Camera Lashes and just coat my bottom lashes. I tend to do this about 3-4 times until I get them nice and dark. And finally the last step, I go in with MAC Fix Plus. I spray this all over my face and kind of let it dry a little bit. And then I go in with that same G22 Morphe brush that I used earlier and kind of just blend everything together. My contour was a little bit dark because I like to, once I put it on, I like to leave it there for a little bit so it sets. And then once I, I spray the Fix Plus on my face, I go ahead and make sure I blend everything out. That way there's no harsh lines or anything like that. And that's it for this makeup tutorial I have for you guys. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys liked it. And don't forget to like this video down below and subscribe if you haven't yet.